Hey, Richard Holdner here for Acceleration Media, 2014 SEMA. We're in the fast booth with David Page. You guys have made him fast. You've made him easy. Tell us what's new. With the Easy EF5 2.0, along with the Easy Fuel, we can cover everything from a full race application to a daily driver making 300 to 350, up to 650 horsepower. Nice. So whether it's a street driver, a street strip application, or a really high horsepower application, one of these two units takes care of the job. Nice. So for a guy that doesn't know the difference between the Easy EFI Fuel and the Easy EFI 2.0, let us know what the differences are. Well, primarily, uh, there's a horsepower level and the control of spark or ignition timing. Easy Fuel, as it states, is fuel control only. The ignition in that application will be just as it was with a carburetor. Guy runs a standard distributor, maybe an ignition amplifier, that kind of thing. But this is not, not in control of the timing, right? That's correct. No okay. timing control at all. It's fuel control. What about the 2.0? 2.0, you have the option to have full control of spark advance, idle timing, all-in timing, vacuum advance, retard for nitrous applications. Or if you choose to do so, you can still use it as a fuel-only option. Okay, so you can run it with a conventional distributor then? Absolutely. Now, you mentioned vacuum on this. If you're, if you're adjusting timing based on vacuum, can you also do it on boost? I mean, is there a map sensor involved in this so that you can run boosted applications? With the 2.0 system, the only way you can run boost is to upgrade the ECU to the XFI Sportsman. Okay, awesome. It, it's good for naturally aspirated applications up to 1,200 horsepower including nitrous or, as I said, just naturally aspirated. Nice. So between these two, you guys seem to have the whole range covered. You got stuff, maybe a, maybe a standard kind of crate motor, you know, guys putting a stock, stock kind of deal in a street rod, and then you got much more performance oriented stuff, like, like you said, all the way up to maybe 600, 700 horsepower. That's awesome. Absolutely. What, what really drove the Easy EFI 2.0 product was the fact that people are starting to put larger and larger and higher horsepower engines in street driven cars, muscle cars, street rods. Sure. They're putting 632 cubic inch engines in these things. They all need that. that, that's perfect. Because more's better. That's it, that's it. So between the Easy EFI fuel and the XFI, does the 2.0 kind of come in between those two then? Absolutely, the 2.0 is right in between the two. Uh, it has eight injectors. Uh, over the four injectors that the original Easy has. More fuel, more power? More fuel, more power. Awesome. So you guys have the whole market covered. You got the Easy EFI, you got the 2.0, and you got the XFI. What else could anybody want? We've got them covered, whatever they're doing. Awesome.